Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to farm for the necrotic blade of doom. Anyways, it's pretty easy. I'm gonna explain what the quests are and uh, how you can get through them. So the first one, retrieve void auras. Um, you use this quest to get the void auras. Um, many of these, this quest is already self-explained, so I'm not gonna go through it. Uh, Alright, so next quest, <laughs> find the doom blade's hill. This one's pretty easy. So blade at blade essence is found in. Uh, Chaos Crypt, the Void Auras you can get from the first quest, you can also get them from another quest in um, the set of quests from Greyus, I think that's how you pronounce them, and the Barium of Doom, you can get it from, um, you can get it from, Let's see if I can find the quests, uh, you can get it from, from Minecrafting at Necropolis, so I'll go ahead and show you guys right now. Uh, so the first one we'll go find Burium. So join Necropolis. Uh, I'll put all these st stuff you need to know in the description. So you go to Artex and then you go to Minecrafting, and then you just do this daily while you're farming for the other stuff, and then you want to get Burium. And after you get the Burium, you want to go to Shadowfall and um, Shadowfall. Okay, you go here. You want to go to the shop. And you want to do Burium of Doom, so you get the Burium and you get Void Auras, 50 of them, and you get that. Okay, so now for the next part of this quest, you want to go to join Chaos Crypt. Um, and you want to go ahead and fight the boss from here. So you want to go ahead and kill all these monsters because uh, they're required to go on to the next level of this uh, little maze, you can call it, I suppose. So go ahead and kill them. They're not too hard to kill. I hope you don't have much challenge, so go ahead and click on him, and uh, he drops the the blade essence that you need. So you guys should be aware that the blade essence is uh, it's not a 100% drop rate, so it might take some time for you to get it. Just keep on killing this guy, corrupted armor, um, to get the blade essence. So yeah, I'll keep on doing it a bit more and see if how long it takes me. Um, I don't think this has been confirmed that it's a 1% drop rate, so yeah, but I mean, it, it is supposed to be a hard quest to do since you're farming for the, the Necrotic Blade of Doom, which is supposedly one of the hardest ones to farm for right now. Um, it's like Blade of All was easy and then Sepulcher's Armor was medium. This is on a hard level, or at least from my perspective. So go ahead and kill him. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the next quest. Um, Next quest, so Breus, you want to go ahead and do the, uh, not this one, but find the Doom Blades Hill. So for this quest, it's really easy. This one's really easy. So, yeah, most of these you can get up. So the Void Aura can be found here by doing the first quest. Um, and the bones from the Void Realm can also be found here in his shop. Uh, so you want to get 50 Bone Dust and the Void Aura. 50 of those, so you're gonna need a lot of void auras. So just keep on stacking up on those. That's why I suggest farming for Sepulcher's armor first, so you can get a little bit of a boost if that counts at all. So we're gonna go farm for the Cavern Celestite. Celestite, go ahead and join Battleground C. So Battleground C. Going underground, see? My bad. Oh, uh, join. Bat. Ah, uh, crap. Battle under sea. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I had a little bit of confusion. But you want to go ahead and kill these guys. Any of these green crystallized, celestialized little guys will do. Um, also, keep in mind that while you're here, you can also farm for. Um. Or, oh, never mind. Crap. So keep in mind that you will need uh, some extra bag, some extra inventory space to collect the uh, cavern celestites that these guys drop. Uh, they're not like you know quest items that are kept temporarily, but yeah, you will have to make space in your inventory once more to collect all these freaking stuff. So undead energy should be pretty self-explanatory, but if you haven't done one of these, um, I'll show you where you can get them right now. You can also join at, join mom. 
so join mom and here you can farm any of these monsters to get the undead energy that you need so yeah sometimes it drops sometimes it doesn't the majority of the time it does drop i have know this because i've been farming for uh for Sepulcher's armor all the time void aura for next part of this quest is um you know from the first quest uh the primary arc is at boss challenge so you want to go to boss challenge say so you want to go boss challenge and then you want to go to primark you want to go ahead and kill this colossal primark for the primark so um you have to get a lot of people for this just because he's really op uh even i at level 65 can't beat him so yeah that's just how rad he is he's very rad all right so yeah i mean everything else here you need a lot of people to do this quest but on that note we are pretty much done with this quest i pretty much explained everything you need to do so let's go back to shadowfall for the next quest uh so let's just do that okay so create the doom blades aura you will need necromancer rank 10 from the merge shop so you can't buy the one from ac because pretty much useless and I wouldn't suggest you buy it anyways because it's a waste of ACs so anyways let's get down to it alright so this guy's this one is pretty easy uh, I can't accept it because I don't have the Necromaster one but Void Aura's first quest um, Unenhanced Doomblade is a quest from this one so you want to go do this one first obviously and um, Corrupted Hourglass I'll show you what that is in a moment um, Unenhanced Hill is a reward from the third quest, so pretty much just do the previous quest, otherwise you're kind of in a little, you know, mess. Okay, so Corrupted Hourglass, you want to go join Time Void, you want to go ahead and kill the boss, uh, my bad, join Time Space, not Void, what else I'm thinking, okay, yeah, so you want to go ahead and kill the boss here, which is Chaos Lord Ayadoa This this motherfucker This little um you know, time slider thingamaji power ranger chaos lord uh, you wanna go and kill him you wanna go ahead and um wait for him to drop the corrupted hourglass because you're gonna be needing it in the merge shop to merge some items um it's the uh Unenhanced Doom something something the Necromancer scroll I believe so you want to go ahead and kill him um, as you know this boss is quite hard So you want to go ahead and get some farming people I uh, you know I think from the last quest you might have gotten the idea that you know, Farming with someone is pretty valuable Okay, so now once you get that uh, You want to go and slash join epic war dread um, And here we're actually gonna have to go ahead and kill well yeah just go ahead and kill ultra Voldred. you're gonna be needing uh his little drop that he drops that don't make any sense kill him just gonna kill him um as i previously stated i think you're gonna need people to kill him as you know soloing him can't take a long time but you know if you get a lot of people it's gonna be cut in half or maybe three times of that so just go ahead and do that uh wait for him to kill you or just kill him um crap he's gonna take a long time killing me actually i don't think he does any damage to you so i think this is like one on one probably because i don't think i'm that good at dodging um so yeah you're gonna be spending quite a long time here just you know waiting for him to land any hits on you basically um Ultra Vordred, yeah. Okay, so now that you have probably beaten Epic Vordred or Ultra Vordred, in fact, you have gotten his drop, you have faced Ultra Ayadoa, I mean Chaos Lord Ayadoa, and gotten his stuff, you are now ready to move on to the second part of this quest, which is going into the shop and getting the. Let's see what we need. Uh. No, not that, not that. It's the... This one. 
Time Lords Necromony. So once you get the Corrupted Hourglass, you get the Necromancer Scroll of Dark Arts. You want to go ahead and um, do this one. Time Lords Necromonium Icon or whatever. You want to go ahead and do that. And, uh, yep. Time Lords Necromicon. That's Create the Doom Blades Aura. So let's move on to the next one. Create the Doom Blades Aura. This quest is basically what we did in the last one. So, um, uh, yeah. Except it does, it says, requires merge job version, Necromancer class. Oh crap, I do have Necromancer rank 10. Whoops, but yeah, you do need the merge shop Necromancer class, um, to get the enhanced aura. Why is this? I do have Necromancer rank 10. Oh, this is for the AC version. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> Alright, gathering unstable essences. So for this one you wanna go to um let's see, let's do the first one, mirror essence. So for this you wanna go ahead and do join um do more and uh you wanna go ahead and kill the boss there, which is if you haven't done this one before, it's let's see. What is this? Um haven't been here in a while. Uh, I believe it's the last one. No. What? Dang it. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I found it out. You have to click on keep battling. And then you want to... Um... Oh, dang it. I'm more lost than... It took me a long time to realize this, but she's going to the Ye Old Inn. And then you want to go... What? What? Are you serious? Alright, it's going to take me a little bit more time to figure it out. Oh, go to the war camp, which is going to take you to a separate one. And you're a zombie. Let's go back. Um... Alright, I figured it out. It's the key battling one. And you want to go to Long Gone Live. Okay, so yeah, keep battling. You want to go and watch one of the cutscenes um, for Long Gone Live. And then you want to go into the Ye Old Inn and find Zombie King Altion. Go ahead and kill this guy, this mofo. Um, you don't need a party to do this, surprisingly. Yeah, you don't. For this quest, you don't need anybody else except for yourself, and uh, just don't die, cause these guys will eat your brains. So you wanna go ahead and transpose essence, you wanna get one of these, um, I can at the moment, but, uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna affect you guys one bit. So you just get the transpose essence from Undead Alteon, cause this guy is cool. Alright, so for next quest, next part of this quest, you want to go ahead and join Neverworld B. That's right, Neverworld B. We're going back to our roots, Voltaire. Go inside here, and uh, you can kill any of these guys. Basically, his, um, oh crap, but, uh, yeah, just be warned that these guys have a lot of HP. <laughs> I don't say I didn't warn you, but, uh, yeah, they do. Go ahead and kill any of these guys. They will drop the uh, Twisted Essence, which you need. Um, you don't need another prison. You can use another prison, but um, it's not recommended. Um, okay, next part of this quest, you want to do a slash join Red Death. And it's going to take you to this place where you can kill the Red Death Moglin, the spiders here. You can kill anything here, basically. And they will all drop the Mirror Essence. So you guys go ahead and do that. Uh, keep on farming here. Looks like they drop it 100%. So yeah, it's basically that quest. Let's go into the next one. All right, so go back to Breyes Bruos. Let me just do this quite fast. Commanding Shadow Essence, and this has to be. Um, this quest is really easy. Um, it pays off to have done the second of doing Sepulchre's Armor. So first off, you want to go do Join Shadow Realm. I can't accept this quest, sorry about that, but I will show you how to do it. So for the Maligate Essence, you want to go ahead and kill the Shadow Guardians. Any of these guys will drop it. Okay, so next, you want to do Shadow Lord. Join slash Shadow Lord, you want to kill this guy. 
uh, Mercutio just turned into a Shadow Lord. So that's basically it for the um, last quest of the Necromatic Blade of Doom thingy. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hope you subscribe, like, and comment. I'll catch you.